Hey everyone, welcome back. Will and Matt are here again and we are playing another game of 40k. Hello. There's Matt. Hi Matt. Hello. We are doing Chaos Demons, Corn specifically, against Matt's Custodies and this is going to be a thousand point game. This is the table we're going to be using. We've got it all set up with the terrain but we are just going to choose the, uh, the mission, the layout and the... What's it called? Not a twist. Uh, the primary rule. The primary yeah. So Matt is going to roll some dice. We've got the cards laid out here. And yeah. then we will see what Matt... So there's five deployments, nine primary missions, and 12 secondary things, which is really annoying. So I've yep. just got some dice. We'll ignore sixes and tens. Yeah. So uh, we've got two, a two, seven, a seven, and, one. and a one. So. so two. So that's the table. Sweeping engagement. Seven. Scorched Earth is the primary mission. And one. And the mission rule is Maelstrom of Battle. So I'm just going to move around. And uh, two more mission rules. Two more mission rules. Yeah. Okay. Matt's going to roll some more dice. <laughs> Three. Three. And seven. Three and seven. So supply lines. And sweep and clear. So let's just have a quick look through them and then we will get the table all set up and be back showing okay. you the armies. So sticky objectives. Yep. And on a four plus you gain a command point if you control the objective in your deployment zone. Nice and simple. Yeah. Not too difficult. Scorched Earth is, let me just move that so we can see without the light. At the end of each command phase, the player's turn in scores five VP for each objective marker they control up to 10 per turn. Um, in the fifth battle round, player who scores first scores VP as described above. If you go second, you score at the end of your command phase. Each pair scores of 5 VP if one or more objective markers in no man's land were burned by a unit from their army, and 10 VP if the objective marker in their opponent's deployment zone was burned. So from the second battle round in each player's shooting phase, the player whose turn it is can select one unit from their army that's not battle shocked and is eligible to shoot. Eligible? Until the end of that turn, that unit is not eligible to shoot or declare a charge. And at the start of its controlling player's next command phase, if that unit is within one inch of an objective marker that the player whose turn it is controls, GW really needs to sort out their <laughs> rules writing, don't they? That objective is burned and removed from the battlefield. So essentially you can give up shooting and charging to potentially burn and remove an objective from the battlefield. And we have got a deployment of sweeping engagement, which has got five objectives. And a rather annoying layout, but yeah, we'll get it set up and uh, we'll be back to show you the armies, go through what everyone has got, and we'll also show you the table and where the objectives are. So we'll be back in just a second. Okay, so we have got Matt's Custodies here and my Corn Demons here. Yeah, looking slightly outnumbered. He's a little bit outnumbered, <laughs> but I mean, you know, quality versus quantity, I guess. Although I do also have Skybrand, who is fairly quality. Um, table's there, but we'll go over that after we've just looked through the armies. But it's all set up and the deployment zones and objectives sorted. But first things first, should we go through what you've got sure. in your army, yeah. Matt? So Warlord is my Trajan Valoris. Good old Trajan, yep. Uh, he is accompanied by a unit of four custodian guard with spears. Perfect. Three custodian terminators, Alaris custodians with axes. Is that one squad of three? One squad of three. Yep. Four wardens with axes and a vexilla for some reason. Why not? Um, and three of the jet bikes with the salvo launchers, the missiles. Awesome. So no enhancements because I've got my named character. Yep. And that's 960 points. So if I lose, it's because I didn't take 40 points. Yep, 40 points. And I think I said at the beginning, but this is a thousand point game. Mm. Um so, yeah, looking very, very nice. It was good to see the Custodies. I'm not sure I've beaten them this edition. Pass. Maybe once or twice, yeah, but they also have uh, their handy Feel No Pain Against Devastating Wounds back. Yes, that's this a is nice post data slate, obviously, when this is going up. Yes. I'm um, using all those rules. So, might come into effect. I've got a few things that do Devastating Wounds in my list, but uh, mm -hmm. very nice. Let's uh, come right back and we'll take a look at my demons. And opposing them, the forces of Corn. My knee just cracked there, if you heard it. We were literally just... I'm going to do this anyway. We were literally just talking about waffling and how to try and avoid waffling, and I've just gone on about my knee. Anyway, 
that's what that's what the fun is. So my corn demons, this is a thousand points on the nose. We have got the skull taker, ready to take some skulls mm -hmm. for corn. Yep. We've got two units of five flesh hounds. So that's one two units of five rather than one big unit of ten. We've got three identical and separate units of blood letters. They've each got a musician and uh, an icon in for some shenanigans. We've got three blood crushes with an icon and a musician in as well. And then we have the big man himself. We have Scarbrand with his new 305 point cost. I think he got a drop of like 40 points or something yeah, nice. in the uh, field manual, which is very nice. But no enhancements because, again, I've gone for um, named characters rather than anything generic. But yeah, a thousand points on the nose of Corn Demons. And this is the table that we have set up as we showed you. The deployment zones are basically from the center point of the table all the way down to the corner. And then again over in the other side um, from the corner there. As I'm sure the eagle-eyed viewers have noticed, this is a six foot by four foot table. So yeah, it's, it's a little bit bigger than we should do. Yeah, but... it's a little bit bigger for a thousand point game, but we thought it looked cool and we kind of just wanted to play on it. So <laughs> why not? And the objectives we've got is one there, one over here in a deployment zone, another one in the center. That one there is in that deployment zone. Yep. And then the last in one is building. hiding... If I can find it, there we go, it's it's like, in, yeah, yeah. in the building there. So we are just going to do a very quick roll off to see who is going to go first. I'm going to have to borrow one of the deployment zone dice. I got do you it want to be the attacker or defender? I am going to be the attacker. Okay, cool. Yeah. So as defender then, I'll choose my deployment zone. Yep. I'll take this one because I'm on this side yep, of the table. Yep, that's generally how we do uh, deployment zones. And I'll deploy my first unit. Okay, I will come back when everything is deployed and we will show you where everything is set up and then we will get ready for Mighty Combat. Not Mortal Combat, Mighty <laughs> Combat. And we are all deployed. From my perspective, I've got some Blood Crushers down on this flank ready to move up and face off against the jet bikes. Mm -hmm. I've got 10 Blood Letters with Skull Taker here. Five flesh hounds are next to the objective, but there is sticky objectives in this, so they will likely move off fairly quickly. Scarbrand and another unit of ten blood letters is uh, on this side over here, uh, ready to head down into the main channel. And then I've got another five unit of uh, flesh hounds just ready to sneak up around the side and maybe grab some objectives over mm -hmm. there. And I have got just ten blood letters in deep strike ready to come in and cause a nuisance. Mm -hmm. when the custodians least expect it. Yeah. What have you got, Matt? Uh, so on my left flank, I've got my custodian guard yep. sitting on that objective ready to run away because it's... Run forwards, rather, I <laughs> Run say. away? Okay. Uh, because it'll become sticky. I've got my wardens and Trajan in the middle, yep. bikes on the right-hand side, and my terminators are in deep strike reserve. There they are. Mm -hmm. nice. And we are going to roll to see who... Goes first. ...is going to go first. So, Matt... Rolled a two, so I've got to beat a two. <laughs> and I rolled a one. So Matt is going to be going first. Yep. Which, I mean, I'm not super, super upset about that, to be honest. Yeah, I'm not I'm... sure I want that. No. This time. Um, so we will be back um, when Matt has... In fact, do you want to choose your, yeah. your primary now? Cleanse and secure no man's land. So two or more objective markers in no man's land, I get five points. Perfect. Uh, and oh, I can choose to cleanse an objective with a unit that is eligible to shoot if I want to. Okay, so a couple of things that Matt can be focusing on, and uh, we will be back at the end of Matt's movement phase to show you where he is. Custody's movement is done. A few mm. things have moved around, but Matt, do you want to explain? Yeah, it took me a little while to work out what I was going to do because yep. he's terrifying. Um, Ta -da! But. <laughs> so basically, my custodian guard squad, after securing this objective with the sticky objective yep. mission rule, have just advanced up the street. They're going to shoot at the dogs. Makes sense. Um, the bikes have jumped over from the right-hand flank into the middle to get some missiles into Scarbrand. Yep, makes sense. Yep. And then the Wardens and Trajan have, moved, have advanced forwards onto the objective. Now, I can't charge from there. 
but I do have a 1 CP strat called Un... Something oh, like... it's a 2 CP strat, actually. Okay, well, you do have 2 CP. Called Sentinels, um, where they can fight first because they are... On an objective. On an objective. Um, so, given that they're on an objective... Yep, makes sense. I might give that a try. Um, I could have sworn it was 1 CP. But anyway, Maybe that's, that's be... my theory behind it. Makes sense. Cool. Um, so, we shall see if it actually works. Well, considering you don't have a huge amount of shooting, do you want to just get that done now? Uh, sure. So, uh, my four guardians then. Yep, I'm going to um, shoot into the doggos. I'm going to shoot into the dogs. They've got two shots each. Let's see what they can do. Two, four, six, eight. Eight on twos. They do indeed. Their strength four. Uh, dogs are toughness four. Okay, so four's to wounds. Uh, there are four wounds. They're four minus wounds. one and two damage. I've got my five up in them. Mm -hmm. uh, so that is three dead. Okay. Brilliant. It's a good start. Yep. Yeah. So that's one, two, three doggos dead. Yeah. Good uh, start for corn. Well, he cares not when the blood. This is blood this is very true. He doesn't. Uh, Trajan and the guard. Yep. They're the wardens. Are probably going to shoot the blood letters next in front of them. I think. Okay. Cool. So we'll start with Trajan. Yep. He's got two shots. He hits on twos. Yep. He is strength five. So toughness four and the bread Okay, so threes. Next two, they are minus two and three damage. Okay. Five up, so one dies. Yep. That's one dead blood letter. Okay. One, two, three, four. And then we've got the four wardens. Yep. Hitting on twos. For six. Strength four, so, so winning on fours. fours. Uh, for six, That's they're me. also minus one and two damage. Okay, this is not going to be fun for me. <laughs> uh, so that's five more dead. Excellent. Uh, four, five. And then finally, we've got the three salvo launchers going into Scarbrand. Scarbrand, yep. So they hit on twos. For two. Yep. Um, they are strength nine. Toughness 11. So five. Five. No. Nothing. Okay, cool. Excellent. That's the end of my shooting. Okay. In fact, that's the end of my turn. That is the end of Matt's turn. So he's mm -hmm. killed some blood letters. He killed a couple of dogs. Yep. Um, but no charges. Nope. So let's go into Demon's turn one. I will uh, come back and show you what objectives I got. And uh, then we'll oh, yeah, go into I didn't moving. score anything. And yet, I no. don't hold two No Man's Land objectives. Makes sense. Okay, look, we'll be back in a sec with the Demons. Right, so I just drew my two objectives. I've got attempting target, which is Matt gets to choose an objective, and if I control it in No Man's Land, and if I control it, I score five VP, and that won't be happening, as I will go through in just a second. <laughs> Engage on all fronts. Obviously, I'm not really going to be able to get that this turn. Well, um, you might be able to, but it would be... Yeah, yeah it would involve a lot yeah. of moving around finagling. and finagling. In terms... Oh, I haven't done movement yet, but um, I did battle shock at the end of the turn. The dogs failed. Great. So they mm -hmm. will not be going to Matt chose that objective as the one um, in No Man's Land for my mission. So they won't be able to get that. Um, the blood letters did pass and they got one model back. I think every time I've ever passed that role, yeah. I've got one model back rather yeah. than the, the three from the D3, but never mind. <laughs> so I'm just going to get my movement done and then I will be back um, to show you. forget. I ditched oh, yes, I Matt... cleanse as my objective at the end of my turn. To get a CP. To so we've got, I've got three CP now. And so you have got three as well. Yep. But we'll be back in a sec just to show you where the demons end up. Okay, demon movement is done. So the doggos have run up to charge into the custodies and also shoot them with some flamey breaths. Yep. Are you scared? No. Okay, fair. <laughs> <laughs> Not overly. This squad of blood letters, we did some measuring and I could actually get um, engaging all fronts three table quarters just with a little bit of finagling around. So mm -hmm. these blood letters actually moved to the side to get into this corner. They aren't eligible because they are battle shocked. Scarbrand obviously lunged forward because mm -hmm. why would he not? Yeah. Um, these flesh hounds actually was meant to move them, but it's fine. They're staying there. That st objective is sticky, but I needed them to stay here just to get the, the table quarter anyway. Mm -hmm. um, the blood crushers advanced up. Uh, to get into that table quarter. So that's the three that I needed to get my two victory points. 
and the Bloodletter squad with Skybrand um, advanced. Scott, yeah, not Skybrand. Uh, advanced up, and I've got a well with their, with with their banner. It will be about a seven inch charge. Um, I'm probably going to use well. I'm going to use my stratagem to advance and charge on them. But uh, we may as well get this shooting done because I've only got two units that are going to be shooting. Mm-hmm. So we'll do the dogs into the custodian guard. Yep. So it's D6 uh, shots. It's like a flamer, so it's also hitting. So two hits. They're only strength four. So they're uh, six, I think. Yes, yeah, so they're going to be winning on fives, which is none. Yes, six. And then Scarbrand has got his into the wardens. Mm-hmm. His is 2d6 auto hits. So that's eight. Yep. Also took my six. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Do you have another dice I could very um, briefly borrow? Thank you. That custodian's dice is going to roll a one for you. Yeah. Because you're attacking me. So this is strength five. So winning on fives again because took my six. Told you. <laughs> yep. It literally did. There we go. So two go through. It's no AP. Okay. So it's just two, two saves. saves. Fine. And they're fine. Okay, so I'm just going to check my strategy to see what I want to do, but we'll be back in just a sec when I've done the charges. It's going to be the dogs, Scarbrand, and the, the blood letters mm-hmm. that I'm going to be trying to charge in. So I'll be back in a sec just to show you what has made it in and what stratagems we're using and who's going to die. Yeah. <laughs> okay, charges have been made. The dogs made it into them. They're probably not going to live <laughs> too much longer, but in a slightly better note... Scarbrand made it in, as did the Ten Blood Letters and Skull Taker. Mm. And my strategic mm. brilliance. Genius. Yeah, I planned this out all along. <laughs> Scarbrand moved in around the side. It was mainly so that I had a bit more room for them to get in when they charge. But as Matt very kindly pointed out, I've actually moved it in a way so that Trajan can't get into Scarbrand. Yeah. Um, so we've had a little talk about what our yeah, options so, are. So basically, I've got two choices here, I think. So Trajan's special rule is the moment shackle. And basically, it means I can fight first for free once per battle. Which would then give me the opportunity to heroically intervene with the bikes to get them into the blood letters. Yep. Which I think is what I'm going to do, because otherwise I'm spending two CP to just give myself some extra attacks, which, while very useful, is probably not that worthwhile at the moment. No, I think you're right. Um, So we'll heroically intervene at the end of Will's charge phase with my bikes. Yep, and Trajan is using the fights first. He will will be in the fight phase. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, so heroic but, adventure. That is a five. five. That will probably get you in. I would have thought. Yeah. Yeah. Brilliant. That's what I wanted. The bikes are in. And obviously, they'll be able to pile in in a minute. Yep. His stupid lance is in the way, so mm-hmm. he's going to face the wrong way. He's reversing into combat yep. as you do. Yep. There we go. That's that's that. Okay. And that's so two CP spent for me. Yep. Uh, so we will come back when the fighting is all done and we will show you who is uh, still alive. I've got a stratagem that I'm going to use, Demonic Invulnerability, but that is when I'm targeted. So obviously I don't know who that's going on yet. Depends who Matt goes into first. Mm. Um, but yeah, we'll be back in a sec and hopefully there will be a few things alive in here, but probably <laughs> a lot dead. That's the fight phase over, mm. as expected. The dogs charged in, did no damage, died. <laughs> You consolidated to get onto that objective. I did. I was able to be a little bit sneaky with my initial pile in. I managed yep. to get around the back of the dogs and then within six inches of that objective so I could con- I could consolidate three to get onto it. Yep. And then in the fight in the centre, so Matt went first with Trajan and his Wardens. Yes. They, did... I used, so first so, of all, I used Captaris Stance for, da- for the Katar, which is minus one to hit. Yep. So. And then I played the Slayers of Nightmares stratagem on the Wardens to give them plus one to wound against monsters. Yep. So he was wounding Scarban on fours rather than fives. Yep. Did six wounds. Scarban yep. has 20, so took him down to 14. Yep. And then killed off a fair few blood letters uh, mm-hmm. as well. Um, it was I, mostly the bikes. To be it was fair. mostly the bikes that killed yeah. the blood letters. I fought back. The blood letters didn't really do much, but Skull Taker <laughs> took six wounds off Trajan, <laughs> which was so annoying because he has seven. seven. <laughs> so the Skull Taker very nearly took Trajan. He's a very good anti character killer with precision yeah. and re rolling hit rolls against units with characters in. Yeah. Um, Scarbrand, however, the big scary bloodthirster of corn, <laughs> did nothing. I went yeah. for the I went for the big the big swing, so eight attacks, strength sixteen, minus four AP, flat six damage. Yeah. He However, 
Capitara stance minus one to hit, and yeah. the Custodes special rule is if your strength is higher than my toughness, it's minus one to wound. So he was hitting and wounding on threes, but I thought I might get one one kill through. Yeah. I was tempted to do the 16 attacks, but that's only two damage, so it doesn't fit nicely into their three wound profile. Yeah. So I'd have had to got two unsaved wounds through to kill one, mm -hmm. and it's only minus one AP, so mm -hmm. he'd still have had a three up save. So I thought the eight attacks was better. Yeah, it made sense overall. But Skulltaker just uh, Skybrand just whiffed. But he is still on fourteen wounds. Like he took a lot of damage and um, survived it. I put the reroll ones on that unit to keep them alive, and actually he didn't really need it. So no. um, that's the big combat. We're now going into Matt's turn two and also yep. battle round two. Yep. So we'll be back to show you. Uh, Crosswise, you oh, scored. Yes. Engage on all fronts. You're in three quarters. Yep, I did get an engage on all fronts. So that's two points for me. I thought it was three. It's three uh, points. Thought, is it three? I thought it was two. Yeah, no, it's two if you're you're using tactical, so it's an extra. Ah, of course. Cool. Sorry, yes, sorry. Matt's the guru of rules. In... <laughs> <laughs> Would you like to keep attempting target? Uh, I am not going to keep it because you're going to keep doing that one that I can't get. So I will get rid of attempting target to get myself a CP. Um, but yeah, we'll be back in battle round two with Matt's turn to show you what he mm -hmm. got objective wise. Um, and then we'll move into his movement. So the fight is ongoing. I'm not entirely sure what's going to happen. We've got some terminators coming in. So that will be fun too. <laughs> Custodian's movement phase for battle round two mm -hmm. is done. Yep. Um, these custodian guard moved up. They're going to take some pot shots and then charge into the blood letters, I believe. Yeah, that's the plan. Obviously or nothing... Scarbrand, or if I Scarbrand. managed to kill them all shooting. Yep. Um, nothing moved in there because obviously mm -hmm. it's all tied up. But yep. at the end of the movement phase, the Terminators came and cowardly hid behind the wall. <laughs> but no, they... The plan is for them to charge through the wall into Scarbrand, is what I'm hoping to like, be able to like do. Like that big red... Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah like the... the um, I don't even know what that's. Some American... Kool-Aid, man. Kool-Aid, that's yeah, the one, yeah. 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 Um... So yeah, they're going to try that. It'll be a 9-inch charge, but yeah. could potentially do it. And you've got enough CP for a re-roll yeah, if you yeah. wanted. Um, so that's, that's all the movement. We're going to do the shooting on camera here because it's yep. literally just yep. going to be the yeah, custodian guide into the blood letters. Yep. So it's eight, eight shots hitting on twos. Yep. Two, four. Yep, I can count. Which is seven. And then there's strength four, so we're on fours. Fours, yep. Uh, which is four. Four saves. One, I believe, and two damage. They were fine. Okay, cool. So I think I'm charging them instead of Skull Brand. Yep. Custodian Guards. That's fine. So I might as well do that now. Yep, roll your charge now yep. and then we'll come back. Uh, so after. the Guardians go six, six. inches, which oh. we'll measure in a minute. Yep. And oh, this yeah. is the big one. This is the important one. Terminators. That is seven. seven. I'm going to have to CP that. Yep. Seven. seven. Damn it. So the Terminators don't make it in, but no. the Custodian Guard almost certainly Probably will. Do. Um, and then we'll be back to show you uh, combat once it's happened. All right, that is the charge and combat phase all done and dusted. Pardon yeah. me, it was fairly eventful. Yeah. So those guys um, made charged it in, in, charged in, killed, killed a couple. Yeah. Yep. Um, forced a battle shot. Forced a battle shot, which I passed, and they got some back. Yeah. Uh, the Alaris, as we showed on the dice roll, didn't make it in. Yeah. But there was a bit of combat in here, just a little bit. Yeah, I um, thought try and hold up Scar Brand if as long as I can. So I did the Captaris stance again for minus one to hit, yep. and then I also popped the Wardens once per battle four up feel no pain thing. Yep. Yeah, it didn't work. No. So uh, to be fair, Skull Taker did. Yeah, Skull Taker a fair, killed, a fair bit. He killed kills, Trajan and two he, Wardens. He killed Trajan and two Wardens. Yeah. Scarbrand killed the last two. Yeah. Um, took a couple of wounds in return. And then, and the then bikes, bikes killed off, off blood letters um, and the blood letters and Skull Taker, which is a yeah. shame. Only just did six wounds. Mm. Um, so he just died, but um, he is unfortunately dead. Yeah. So what did you score points wise? So I got. Th so primary wise, I had one objective over there that's sticky. Yep. This one at the beginning of the battle round, yep. uh, I had an OC 15 unit of yep. wardens on the objective. And this one's sticky over here. So I got two plus objectives for that, so 10 points. Yep. I got secure no man's land because I had this objective in the middle. Yep. And that one over there is sticky for five points. Yep. And overwhelming force, I killed the blood letters next to an objective. So that is all scored for me. Nice. So 18 points plays three at the moment. But we're about to go into my turn two. We are. So we'll see what I get objective wise. And then I'll come back after my movement phase to show you where everything has ended up. Demon's turn to movement phase is done and it was reasonably eventful. Yeah. 
The blood crushers moved up to get a charge into the bikes. The flesh yep. hounds moved up and around. I'm just going to put a dice on that to remind me that I think it's sticky for yep. me. Um, to charge into the bikes. Scarbrand actually moved around. He's going to try and take on three Terminators. I don't know mm. if that's a good idea or not, but he's going to try it. He'll probably be okay. Um, obviously, the blood letters here stayed in combat with the custodian guard. And then I had my last squad of blood letters drop in there. Um, they haven't taken that objective from that, but they've removed it well, from... Yeah. yeah. Why Scarbrand only on eight wounds, well? Oh, yes. So Matt did Overwatch as well from the bikes when Scarband moved. Three shots from the uh, salvo launchers. One hit, one wound, and I rolled a two on my save. I was tempted to do Demonic Invulnerability to reroll ones. I'm kind of glad I did because <laughs> I rolled a two. But uh, let's do a little bit of shooting, and then I will come back to show you the charges once they have been made. So the dogs are going to do their flamer into the bikes. Mm-hmm. That's D6 shots for Excellent. one hit. And no wounds. Yeah, Scarbrand into the Terminators is 2d6. Mm-hmm. So he gets three. Mm-hmm. My dice rolling is on fire today. Literally like Scarbrand's breath. He uh, strength five. So winning on five. <laughs> yeah. None. Excellent. Perfect. So we'll be back in a sec. I'll make some charges and I'll show you what is in. And then we'll get some good, good combat. Um, There was a yeah, that happened. bit of a turnaround. Yeah, yeah that <laughs> so, happened. So we had the combat in the centre where the blood crushers and the dogs charge in, killed one bike. In return, three of the dogs died. In fact, I do need to do a battle shot for them, I just remembered, mm-hmm. which they have passed on an eight, yep. so that's all fine. Um, so I killed one dog, uh, one bike, you killed a dog. Three dogs. Three dogs. In here, the custodies did... Killed five. Killed, yeah, killed all apart from one, and then one came back from the... Um, uh, Demon, successful success, shot. yeah, successful bath shot, getting a do back. Um, so I got one guy back, so there's two there. And then Scarbrand charged the three Terminators. Yeah. I went for the 16 attacks because two damage is divisible into four, so I thought it made sense. And I used um, Draft of Terror uh, to get my AP to AP2 mm. to push them to their four up in run rather mm. than a three up. And I killed all three. Yeah, they all died, yeah. Yeah, that was effective. It was a very, effect- so, like, it was a very yeah. good roll. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. And yeah. Unfortunate rolling on your part on the saves, yeah, but it was, but it's fine. It's the way so, it goes. I mean, he, he, I was thinking, oh, he's not doing that great when he was over there, but actually, he's kind of made a, a made up for himself there. <laughs> uh, yes, very, uh, much. very much so. Still got my blood letters over there. So that was a very big turnaround in terms of what happened. Yes, in the game, because we've still got a few things tied up in combat, but Skybrand is now unengaged, which mm-hmm. is useful for me. Yeah. In terms of points. I scored both of my secondaries because I didn't realise this, but they're uh, retroactive. So I got assassination for killing Trajan. In Trajan. Trajan. Um, okay, in my sense, you right. Yeah. And then secure no man's land. I am in control of the uh, the centre objective and, and this one. Yeah. Um, so I get to that. So that is f- five. Uh, yeah, so it's 10 PP. So, so, so you're uh, now on 33. So I'm on 33, and Matt... Uh, the you're... score is also now 33 for me, because I've still got that one objective over there. You do indeed. So that's my five points for the primary on this one. Yeah. And then secondary objective-wise, in my turn three, I've drawn bring it down and no prisoners. So kill stuff and kill Scarbrand. Yeah. And that's so... going to be difficult, because I'm locked in combat. Yeah. So we are just going into Matt's... Well, battle round three and Matt's turn three. Yes. Um, so I will come back when all the movement is done. But those are his objectives that he's shooting for. And this is the state of the battlefield. Yes. So Matt's turn three. Um, he got his objectives. There actually wasn't any movement. We were debating or he was debating. Yeah, I was toying with falling back over here. But either way, we'll still got a, most of the objectives for the primary. So yeah. And I, I, if I kill stuff, at least I can get... Um... Yeah, that is your... No Second, yeah. yeah. So stayed where he is. So no movement or shooting. We're gonna come back. There's a plane going over as well. So uh, we're gonna come back. Was that a lawnmower? I think it's a lawnmower. Let me close the door. But either way, we'll be back in a sec and uh, show you what combat has happened and what is still alive. Uh, right, that's the end of Matt's turn three. Mm. It was. I mean, it wasn't super long or eventful, but it also kind of was in a few ways. Uh, he killed <laughs> the blood letters, obviously, and yeah. then moved the. Uh, because he did some clever uh, positioning. Yeah, so Love it. to getting into range of that. The bikes killed, killed the dogs, dogs mm-hmm. and did two wounds to the uh, blood crushes mm-hmm. and then again consolidated round to um, get a bit closer to that objective. Mm-hmm. So I've stolen it. So that objective is now Matt's. Yeah. Uh, that was about That's it. it. I didn't do... I did one wound back um, to the bike and nothing to the... Um, yeah. To the yeah. guard. 
So he's on one, not three. Yep. Uh, so, what did you score? Uh, no wise? prisoners. I killed two units, which gives me four points. Nice. So the score is currently 37 33. 37 33, and we were about Going to go into, into my turn. turn three. He has got. So I've got one, one objective, two, two objective, three and that one. So you score two plus for which ten. Which is now sticky for me as well, I believe. Is, is it not? No, this one is. Yep. Well, it will be in your Well, it will be, yep. Um, and then do you I need to draw my. Secondaries? Yep. So I got both of those. Mm -hmm. I always forget to. Uh, so what I drew this turn is Deploy Teleport Homer mm -hmm. and Area Denial. So Deploy Teleport Homer in your shooting phase, choose one unit. Um, if it's within your opponent's deployment zone or within six inches of the center. So my actual, my squad of 10 yeah. blood letters that just came in could do that. Area Denial is one or more of your you units. Clear me out of the center. Yeah, essentially kill Matt out of the center, which potentially I could do. Which would table me because both my units are. Really both is, yeah. If I do that, then <laughs> then Matt is tabled. But we'll see what Scarbrand can do. Uh, yeah. Um, so yeah, we'll be going into my turn. I'll come back and show you where the movement is. I'll probably combine the movement and the shooting because it is just going to be Scarbrand. Yeah. So uh, I'll do his shooting before we come back. So Will's very excited to do this. So I've taken over the camera duties for this. So Scarbrand made his charge. It was the only charge that we had because yeah. the squad at the back, the little blood th uh, blood letters at the back, are doing deploy the teleport. deploy teleport homers. So I'm um, doing the 16 attacks. Mm -hmm. don't actually know if it's the right decision into three wounds infantry, but I want to roll 16 dice. Yeah, that's fine. So uh, I have chosen Captaris, so minus one to hit. So I'm hitting on threes. Mm -hmm. Wounding. Oh. I'm also going to do the extra minus one AP. Okay. Because I have the CP. I'm rolling in CP. Probably won't need it, but fine. Well, I just put you to a four instead of a three. Oh, yeah, sure. Whatever. Hit on threes. That's a lot of ones and twos. That is a lot of ones and twos. Winning on threes. Uh, that's a five over by the wall. Thank you. That's a lot of ones and twos as well. I'm going to use a CP reroll. <sighs> yeah. Six. Six. Four, five, six. At minus two. Four up in Yep. LOL. <laughs> Great. Well done, Scarband. You killed the Terminators and you just gave up. Yep. So one guy is one. dead and yeah. then the other guy is fine. Yeah. Cool. And then we'll go into the next fights in a minute. Yep. Oh, Scarbrand. Okay. Yeah, you got my hopes up when you killed the Terminator. <laughs> like, oh, you're finally coming into your own. But maybe I should have done the eight attacks doing six damage. But but then you would have only hit with one. But then I would have only hit with one, yeah. So anyway, attacks. Oh, are you uh, doing yeah, the bikes first? Yeah, the bikes because that May one well. guy is A, not going to do anything, and B, Scarbrand's already attacked. Yeah. So the bikes have 15 attacks. Yes, they do. Which is five, ten. I'll come around that side because there's a bit more space for rolling yep. as well. I'm also going to use another CP to do the reroll ones of my ward saves on these mm. guys. So I'm down to one CP. Okay. Um, warp, warp, flux or something it's called, I believe. Uh, hitting on twos. That's a lot of ones. <laughs> Three ones. <laughs> uh, strength seven. Toughness seven. Four still in. Ugh, that's a lot of ones. That's terrible. Four wounds. Four minus wounds. two, two damage. So four up in one, but re-rolling ones. Here's two go through. So that is one dead, the musician one dead. Down to two. And should I put it on the dude with the flag? Yes. <laughs> so dude with the flag. Yeah. It's down to two wounds. Okay. And then they get to attack. And then they get to attack back. So it is five attacks because the sergeant, captain, whatever his name is, is still alive. And the dude with the flag. These are hitting on fours. Yes, because they're minus one. That's two. No, three. Three. Right? And then winning on fives. Mm -hmm. For one, yep. it's minus two. So four up in them. Which he makes. Yeah. And then it's eight attacks from the mounts now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. He's hitting on fives now, nice. however. So two and wounding on fours because they're strength six. So one. Minus. Minus one. Oh, that's a five. That's fine. So no damage from the blood crushers. They're decently tanky, but they're not particularly killing. If um, they charge, they're all if right. If they charge, they can they can do all right. Um, and then we'll just do the, the 
guards oh, yeah, into right. Scarbrand. The heroic custodian guard on his own, facing off against Scarbrand. With his he five attacks. Eleven wounds. Yeah, he's going to have... How many is that? There's two damage each. He's going to have One five left. wounds left by the end of it. Okay. Ten on twos. Oh, look at Four hit. Strength seven. Toughness eleven. Winning on fives. Winning on fives. One wound. One wound. Minus two. Four up in run. Two damage. I didn't do the roll one. He's down to nine wounds. He's below half strength. Yeah, which does mean battle shot. Battle shot. And potentially getting wounds back. And he has failed them. And he has failed them before. A couple of times. I'll do the battle shot now. Because yep. I'm in my uh, shadow of chaos. And I need a battle shot. Already. Yep. I, uh, oh, you're at minus one to yours. When you do yours. That's just rude. So mine is at plus one. Uh, which makes it nine, so he does pass. And with the demon rule, if you pass it in your shadow of chaos or whatever oh, it's called, D three wounds back for two wounds back, so he's back up to eleven. <laughs> and then enemies are at minus yeah. one. What did I get? Yeah, Four. no, he's, he's battle shot. And they take D three wound mortal wounds. Oh, <laughs> for three. That's fine. At least got a four up for no pain. You do have a four up for no pain. Uh, He's fine. Okay, cool. <laughs> five, five, six. Yeah. So that is the end of. I'm just gonna. Mm -hmm. That is the end of my turn mm -hmm. uh, and battle round three. Yep. Yeah. I got to deploy teleport homers. Does that happen straight? Is that In, at, the end, at the end of your turn? Yeah, okay, um, four VP. Are we five using VP, five? Cool. Yep. And then area denial. I don't think I got no, that because I, I didn't two see. Or other within six of the centre. Uh, only within six inches of the centre of the battle, no units within six. Yeah. Okay, so you're going to keep that or? Uh, I think I am going to keep it for now. Yeah. Okay. Uh, but obviously I scored the Pro Teleport members. Yep. So where are we points wise now, Mr. Points Matt? wise, 48 points to the demons. Yep. And 37 points Ooh, to the custodians. Okay, okay. Going right. into turn four. Yep, we'll be back in a sec and we'll see what happens with turn four for the custodians. Uh, that was turn four custodies completed. Yeah. We just did a combined one because there was not no <coughs> movement, no shooting, so we just went straight into combat. Yeah. Um, I attacked with my blood crushers first, didn't do anything. No. And then the guardsmen attacked. Scarbrand did nothing. Yeah. Scarbrand then wiped him out yeah. quite quite yeah. comfortably. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yeah. And then the bikes managed to kill the blood crushers yes. despite me using the reroll one, used the last of my command points. Yeah, kill the real ones, but they just died. Um, but that does set up Scarbrand potentially for a change. Yeah, I've, I've sort of knackered myself with this. And to be honest, they should never have heroically intervened in turn one into that fight. Yeah, with them. yeah, but that's fine. We'll go over that at the end of the game. Anyway. Yeah. Um, so your turn three. Do you want to draw some turn four? secondary? Is it turn four. Or turn, turn three. Is it turn three. Okay. Oh, no, so it's turn four. Okay. It's turn three. So I've still got area denial. Yeah. And then my next one is going to be cleanse. Okay. Which is choose a unit which is not battle shocked. Da, 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 da. Yeah, so basically the blood letters. Uh, they don't no, have they're guns. not. They're, they're not, not eligible to, to shoot. shoot. So it's Scarbrand only. So it would only be Scarbrand that could do it. At the end of your turn, each objective marker that is not within your deployment zone. However, we have been missing the thing. I could do Scorched Earth. You could uh, with the blood letters potentially. I prefer it if you didn't because you're winning anyway. Uh, so at the end of your turn, each objective marker that is not within your deployment zone. I mean, to be honest, Scarbrand. He could do that to the central objective. Yeah, but he wants to charge. <laughs> so that's not going to happen. Area denial might, and I might do Scorched Earth. Yeah. But I'll come back. I'm basically. You've gonna got do... two points. Yeah. That's I'm going to see what I'm going to do with the blood letters. Scarbrand is going to move up, shoot flame, and then charge. So I'll come back um, yeah. when we're a bit further in to show you more of an overview of the turn. Okay. Um, Good boy, Scarbrand. He goes. He goes well into units of three. He does. <laughs> it seems. He does. So um, he charged in. I did advance up the blood letters because if I got a better advance roll, I, well, I did try to charge them in, but I didn't re-roll yeah. it because they were eight inches away, and I rolled a seven, even with their banner. Yeah. Um, and I wanted to save the CP for um, the extra AP on mm -hmm. Scarbrands because I went for the sweep attack. Uh, the bikes fought first because Matt used the. Strike first stratagem. Yep. Because he was on an objective. Yep. And he did ten wounds yep. to Scarbrand, who had eleven left. Yep. So it left him on one wound, and Scarbrand's bracket actually gives him plus two attacks when he's uh, on his lowest bracket. Yeah. So I had eighteen attacks. I went for the sweep profile, 
and I managed to uh, to kill them with one one wound to spare. I think was you did. You so did. wiped out the bikers, um, and which that... ones you discarded? No, the discards. No, these, these are the ones to draw. From. Those are the ones to draw. From. Okay. So well, I don't know why how you got cleanse. You had cleanse last time, didn't you? And you decided not to do it. Yeah, I didn't so discard it. it. I didn't ditch it though. Oh, you didn't. Okay. I think I so meant you got to. Cleanse didn't... no prisoners. Okay. That's yeah. Fine. So in this turn, then you've got. So in turn four. I got area denial for killing yeah. the bikes, and, and I think that was prisoners. Yeah, so that was that was last turn. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so going into turn five. Yep. You can cleanse. We uh, so I, I, I scored five points because I still hold that. Objective. You do still hold that one. Yep. Um, you score. That's the only thing I score. Yep. You score ten points for having more multiple objectives. Yeah. And, you can and I can cleanse with him if I wanted. Yeah. For one objective for another three, which finishes the game with. 52 points for the Custodies. Okay. And 76 points for the D. Ooh, 52 to 7. I think that's the highest I've ever scored in a game of 40k. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And that's as you good. say, that was one of the first times you've beaten the Custodies. Yeah. 10. Yeah. So. Um, I mean, yeah. the first turn... So that's that's the end of the game. Uh, demons, demons win. I, I killed all the Custodies. Good game, though. Good game. Um, Scarbrand and GG. ten blood letters are all that is left on my side. That's all that's left on the board. Um, and yeah, all that's left on the board. Yeah. But um, I thought I'm just going to go into a little bit of a post game now. Yeah. Um, but I thought first turn I was going to lose quite badly in mm-hmm. that because when I charge in and kind of bounced off mm-hmm. the custodies there, and then you killed a few blood letters. You killed some of the blood letters down mm-hmm. here. And I just thought, I'm just going to bounce off the Custodies and not do anything. Yeah. And to be fair... You did it, for a couple of fight phases? It, it was mainly Scarbrand who did <coughs> all my damage. Yeah. Um, he killed the three out of a uh, no, it was Skulltaker that did all your damage. Skull, Skulltaker <laughs> did a load of damage in there, true. So Skulltaker and Scarbrand yeah. are sort of the two... Everything else is just kind of supporting them, Yeah. basically. Um, which is why I think the, the meta lists for demons at the moment is just lots of big guys. Still demons. And I can complete... Oh, I, and I think I can understand why, because yeah. the, the little stuff just dies quickly and doesn't really do much it's like yeah. chip damage but against custodies that kind of just doesn't work all that well yeah um but yeah scarbrand was was great he actually he fluffed it a couple of turns and i did mm. think it didn't really seem worth it but then on other turns he just wipes out three jet yeah. bikes and three terminators well he's what he's 305, he's 305 points and he killed for for what it's worth yeah he killed uh 195 points of terminators <laughs> 225 points of bikes. Like so a, he's made a, custo- a, couple of cus- a couple of guards. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah he did. Like 100 points, give or take. Yeah, he definitely made his points back. But yeah. I think probably what killed a solid 80% of your army was Skulltaker and Scarbrand. Yeah. I would say. Yeah, probably yeah, between yeah, those yeah. two, they, they killed most of Yeah, well, Skulltaker pretty much single handedly took out the Wardens. Yeah, yeah. So, um, yeah, I mean, good game, obviously. Good fun, always is. Um, but definitely, that was the first time I've used the bikes, and that is not how you use Custodius Jet Bikes. Yeah, yeah. Um, because they've got Lance on the charge, so they really need to be charging. They're really manoeuvrable. They do not need to be stuck in combat for five That turns. Yeah, I think that, yeah, like, they, they, I mean, they went in and they, they did, I mean, I, they didn't kill as much as I thought they would. I thought they, they would wipe out yeah. the Skull Taker and his squad. Um, yeah. And they didn't, and the fact that I managed to survive. It was also quite lucky that I kept having stuff survive and then go into my turn so that I yes. could then make charges and denied you making charges. Um, yeah. That was a big, big bonus. Mm. Um, Mindful to hit army-wide is very useful. Yes, that does make a big difference, especially um, on the, you know, the big stuff that <laughs> wants to be hitting on twos. Yeah. So that and was... Yeah. There's, a, there's a few rules I still forget every time, like the, the you know, turn one, I could have used the four up, feel no pain on the wardens to stop Yep. Trajan taking six yes. wounds in yep. turn one. Yep, indeed. Um, but yeah, there's, there's a few bits that just needs more games and more practice. Well, yeah, exactly. I mean, you know, we haven't really had that many games of 10th, no, to be honest, compared to like 8th or 9th or 7th or any... Yeah. We, and we, when we do play, we tend to bounce around between armies, so it's not like either of us are focusing on this army all the time. So yeah, if we did forget any rules, sorry. Yeah, no, as always, do point out anything we did forget or miss, um, because... Yeah, we, we sometimes do miss stuff, especially when you're recording. It can be di- tricky to uh, 
remember everything. But I think we did okay rules wise. I don't yeah, think there's anything yeah. we forgot. And I feel like we actually both played. Normally, when I play 40k, I just charge stuff in and try and kill stuff. Oh, like I did. Yeah. But yeah. like, I actually, <laughs> I actually tried to play for the objectives in my secondaries this this game, and it did actually work out for me. It, clearly. Um, yeah. In addition to killing everything, but. Um, <laughs> Yeah, no, that was a good, that was a good fun game. I enjoyed it. It was nice to see uh, the uh, the demons and the custodies. Apologies, my demons aren't fully finished yet. Like they've all got they're all tabletop ready, but like there's still lots that I want to get done on them. In terms of the gold, I was just rushing. The reason there's been no other videos this week is because I spent every night painting. <laughs> so I was trying to get them all done. So apologies, yeah. there's a few bits that are sort of not 100 percent complete. But the custodies, as always, look gorgeous. Thank you very much. So looking forward to uh, playing Particularly them again. Good when lying on the floor after having been cut in half by yeah. Scarbrand. But well, I did bring my uh, my soul bright skeletons as well, <laughs> and we said before the game maybe we'll just use just them as like a load of skeletons yeah. across the board. Yeah. But um, thanks very much for watching. We will get some more battle reports up soon. This was just a nice, quick-ish thousand-point game. Um, hope you enjoyed it. And as always, let us know any ideas or suggestions for other battles or matchups you'd like to see. I did put a poll on the channel, so anyone that voted for that, you may well notice that Custodes versus Demon was the least popular one by <laughs> quite a significant margin but before i put the poll up we'd already decided what we were playing so i kind of yeah didn't give you a choice i think it's on like six percent of people wanted it Brilliant. so what is the most popular just out of curiosity raven wing versus your chaos knights oh so well, maybe you got 750 points yeah well that, that was why i kind of thought maybe we, we shouldn't okay. do that but okay. maybe well, at some point 750? yeah exactly yeah fine so uh yeah the raven wing might be coming out and uh, look these knights are absolutely stunning this is completely off topic, but are they not the coolest looking Chaos Knights you've ever seen? Just in case it sways the uh, pole anymore, unless the pole's finished, of course. I don't think they ever do. They just stay open forever. There we go. Yeah, Matt's... Matt's 750 points. The shields, the guns, they're just awesome. <laughs> but anyway, that's completely off topic. <laughs> but maybe a teaser for the next battle. Yeah, maybe a teaser for the next one. But thanks very much for watching, and uh, I will see you, and Matt will see you, I'm sure, in the next video too. Bye. Bye, guys.